I am forever thankful for Eve's rebellion. See, it was Eve who gave the world its flavour. The forbidden fruit was just the beginning, and that taste of freedom left her hungry for more. She wasn't just tempted by a silver-tongued serpent. She led the first uprising in Eden, and with it, a worldwide revolution of knowledge and disobedience. They sat in perfect peace. Man and his helper, his bone, his flesh, his woman, and then deceit, slithered into the garden and planted the first seeds of anarchy into Eve's head. She was promised the fruit would open her eyes, and who wouldn't take that chance if they knew they'd become wise in the woman? who refused to live in ignorant bliss, then proceeded to overthrow the omnipresent power that she had always known. She opened her eyes to the world that had always been hers. I want Eve's rebellion, running through my veins so that I can remind myself of freedom and imperfection. But we can all wish to be daughters of Eve. Her thirst for fruit was a thirst for knowledge that left her punishable, ashamed of her nakedness and riddled with the guilt of disobedience which came with the knowledge of good and evil. This was the domino effect that led to the world we now know. The world of suffering and sin, of immortality and illness, science and confusion, knowledge and hope. Eve, mother of all living, lived too long in his shadow. <laughs>